Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please, if you do this your first time, you consider to subscribe to this channel to enter another exciting video we notify. Let's solve this simple and lovely question on the board. Please, after watching, share with others or others who learn, okay? Now, look at what you are given. We are going to k raised to the power of 6 is equal to what? 2 raised to the power of 6. We are asked to find the value of what? K. Now, I know that most people, most people, what they will do here is that since the power are the same, they will equate the basis, okay? But that is wrong because this question you are seeing have two solutions. This question you are seeing, if you are mathematically inclined, you know that this question have two words, two solutions. I know you wanted to ask, sir, why? Show us why I have two solutions. Pay attention. The only thing I need from you guys after what you share so that other people will learn from it. Okay? Because if you are saying your answer to this problem is that k is equal to 2, it's also one of the solutions. What about the other solution? You don't know about So that's why I'm here. So after what you share so that others will learn. And again, if you're not subscribed, consider to subscribe so that you need to upload an exciting video like this, you know it's fine. Now look at what you are going to do. Now, here, I'm not wrong if I decide to write this as what? k raised to the power of what? 2 or raised to the power of what? 3. I'm not wrong. Because I know that 2 multiplied by 3 will give us 6. Because by one of the properties of indices, the index inside the parenthesis can multiply the index outside the parenthesis. So 2 times 3 will give me 6, okay? So this will be equal to what? Into, I'm not also wrong if I decide to write what? 2 raised to the power of what? 2 or raised to the power of what? 3. I'm not wrong, my brothers and sisters. Because the index inside the parenthesis can multiply the index outside the parenthesis. That means 2 multiplied by 3 will give me 6, okay? Now, let me equate the basis since the power are the same okay now i can do without them let them settle their self okay and now this is k square equals to what two raised to the power of what two okay now what i'm going to do i want to subtract this two raised to the power two from both sides okay so if i do that what i have that two k raised to the power of two minus two raised to the power of two equals to two raised to the power of two minus two raised to the power of what two so this will cancel out this right because i subtract that what two raised to the power of two from both sides so now see that k raised to the power of two minus 2 raised to the power of 2 equals to what? 0. Now you can observe that this is difference of what? 2 square. Because what? what? If I have a raised to the power of 2 minus b raised to the power of 2 is equals to into a plus b into again a minus what? b. This is what? Difference of what? 2 square. So from here, I can add that this is what? k raised to the power of 2 minus 2 raised to the power of 2 is equals to what? 0. From here, I can decide or I can decide, yes, to take my word difference of 2 squared. So now this is into k plus what 2 into k minus what 2 equals to what 0. And this is what quadratic what equation. Now when the product of two terms is equal to 0, it means that individually each of them is equal to 0. Or consider both of them are equal to what 0. That means k plus 2 is equal to 0 or k minus 2 is equal to what 0. Now, by subtracting 2 from both sides, we now see that k is equal to 0 minus 2. Or uh, from here, by adding 2 to both sides, we now see that k, this 2 will go as a gun of plus what? 2. That means k is equal to minus 2, which is one of the solutions they don't know about. Or uh, k is equal to what? 2, which, are, which is the solution you know about. Okay? So you can see that k is equal to minus 2, or k is equal to what? 2. And this is the solution to this particular problem. Can you see? So you are telling me that your k is 2, why by k you have 2 solution to the problem. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you find it very interesting, don't hesitate. Do well to like, comment, and subscribe to the loved ones or others who learn from you. So thank you so much and God bless you.